Ever notice we get caught up in certain patterns or stories in life of how things should be? And when things don't play out or work out as we expect, this can become upsetting and frustrating. We can even let the situation define us. Perhaps we are not good enough or the world is against us. This video will review such thinking and provide ways to change negative stories into a winning mindset. People tend to like things a certain way. If not, frustration and anger can be something that they experience. I saw this the other day when I went to pick up a delivery. I was looking at the place where the item was supposed to be. Where was it? I became somewhat upset because it said that the delivery was made on my phone, but I could not find it. I had ordered the same item before and knew the box it came in, but no box. I was ready to make a complaint. Where was my thing? Then I thought, before I make a complaint, I better go down again to take another look to be sure. I found the item. Then the light bulb turned on. Two things were new, the place of the item and the size of the box it came in. The package was huge versus small and located in a different area. The situation made me think about other past assumptions or ideas I had that were later changed. I would build up a picture in my mind of how something was to go, assuming it to be one way and one way only. But later after the situation played out, I could see my thinking was wrong and it stressed me out because my, you could say my story of how it should have gone was incorrect. What about yourself? Think that something should be one way only later to be shown something else? Do you think you should have known better or how stupid you might have been not to have seen that? Did the situation cause you to feel bad about yourself? When you experience such situations, they can create a story about yourself. You cannot find something that you think should be easy to find. You feel bad about yourself. You don't get the job you want or the promotion you want. You see yourself as a failure. You can define yourself by your problems or stories. Poor me, nothing in life goes my way. This becomes the narrative of your life. Such stories can help shape our identity and how we feel. If the stories are negative, this can drag you down. To feel better about yourself, you need to go beyond these negative stories to allow yourself to see that you have many sides to your personality. This can show you that you are capable of many things. To start, you need to separate yourself from the problems or stories that define you. Ask yourself the following. How does the problem affect my life? How does the problem impact my energy, my focus? What effect does the problem have on my family or work life? Is the problem acceptable to you or not? How would you like things to be? By answering the questions, you start to see the impact of problems on your life. You begin to see the problem is just that, a situation or issue. It does not define you or say you are stupid or not smart. You need to reauthor your approach to problems. Create new stories to move beyond the current negative ones. The questions that I listed, answer them again, but do so with a positive focus. For example, the problem negatively impacts my life, but now I know more about how to handle things better and move forward. The problem takes a lot of energy, but I can effectively deal with it by solving it, thus getting back my power to put towards other things that bring more joy into my life. Make things more positive. Look for examples of how you solve problems in the past. How can the same ideas used back then can be used for this problem? Seek to promote your goals, skills, and values in fighting your problems. What are your goals in life? List three or more. What skills do you have? List three or more. What are your values in life? List three or more. Putting things down on paper or a screen helps define who you are and what you wish to achieve in life. When confronted with a problem, you can reflect and see your skills and values and how they can help you overcome problems. For example, let's say you have excellent organization skills. Use them at work to help overcome, for example, uncoordinated efforts to promote the launch of new products. 
Use your goals to help focus and provide you with a higher purpose. Having a meaningful plan or goal allows you to work towards something you want, noting that anything of value does not come easily or quickly. It's best to have a focus to help you in challenging times. It can allow you to reach the end. Engage in positive stories to help develop your positive mindset. See yourself learning from your problems, not being tied to them, not letting them define you, and limiting your success in life. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and a comment. As always, wishing you a positive mindset and the best mental health wherever you are in the world. Until the next video, take care. Want more content on mental health? Have a look at this video.